So today I'm going to show you how to send data to a PHP script using an HTML form. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an HTML form. We're going to point it at the PHP script. And then what the PHP script is going to do is it's going to take all the values from that HTML form. It is going to set those values to variables that we can use in PHP. And then it's going to sent, simply print out those values on the screen. Now it is important to understand that as soon as you turn anything into a variable within PHP, you can do almost anything you want with it. So today we're going to be printing it out to a screen, but it is just as easy to print that information to a file or uh, submit it into a database or do something like that. We're just simply printing out on the screen today to keep the script simple so that you understand what is going on. Now it is important to understand whenever you're going to be creating a full-fledged web app that you don't use one specific language cr to create the app. So it's very easy to think that if you're going to be creating web apps that you will just be using PHP or you'll just be using Ruby or you'll just be using JavaScript. But the reality is, is when you create a full-fledged web app, you'll be using PHP and HTML, most likely CSS. There's a good chance it'll be a MySQL database that uses a SQL in order to interact with it. You may also be using JavaScript. And so the thing is, is you're going to be using multiple programming languages, and all of these languages are going to be communicating with each other, and it's simply, simply essentially passing data off to each other uh, in order to make that full-fledged web app. Now, this is why it can be a little confusing uh, for new people when you hear about HTML programming, because a lot of people lose their minds when they hear old timers like me talk about HTML programming. Because HTML is a markup language, it's not a programming language. Well, the thing is, again, in the practical world, it gets a little more fuzzy around the edges because you create forms. So the forms that you will use to submit data to uh, PHP, that is going to be an HTML uh, form. Uh, when you use PHP to write out a report from data that it grabs from a database or a file or something like that, it's going to be writing into HTML. And so this is where you'll hear some people talking about programming and CSS or HTML, which is technically incorrect, truly, truly technically incorrect. But in the real world, when you're using four different languages, and again, you're sending data and information between all those different languages, it's very easy just to simply say, you know, you're programming in HTML, even if that's not uh, technically uh, the case. So the demonstration that I'm going to do is going to be a very simple demonstration. Basically, the idea is somebody is going to be signing up uh, for to take like a shift at an event. So let's say you're having a volunteer event. So you need to know the person's name, you need to know the person's t-shirt size, and you need to know what shift that they're willing to take the basic idea there. So we're going to have a name form. We're going to have a t-shirt size drop down box. So you can see how that works. And we're also going to have two check boxes for second or first shift. Again, the idea being somebody comes, they put in their name, they put in their t-shirt size, and then they say which shifts they're available for. Basically a simple practical idea. Uh, with that, all we're going to do at this point is we're going to simply print that out to the browser screen because we're going to take all that information, we're going to turn it into variables, and then all we're going to do is simply do the print function. So do remember with this, Everything that we do today, you could take these variables and write it to a file. You could write it to a database, something like that, just for ease of explaining how this works. We're simply just writing this out to the web browser. So with that, let's go over to the computer uh, so I can show you how this works. Now, I don't normally show you the finished product in the beginning. I rather show you the code, but there's a little bit of code that goes into this. So I think if I show you the finished product first, when we go through and take a look at the code, the code will make a little bit more sense. So as always, we're going to go to Silicon Dojo and the form that we're going to be going to. So it's important to understand there's two files in this particular script. There's the form.php. So form.php is the actual HTML. HTML form that we are going to be inputting data into. It will then send the data to form script.php. That form script will process the data and actually put the stuff on the screen. So let's go to form.php and here we can see a very, very ugly uh, basically form, right? You know, we have your name, you know, whatever your name is. We have your t-shirt size, so your small, medium, large, and then we have whatever shift that you want to take. Do you want to take first or second shift? So if we go here, we can say, let's say your name is Mark, uh, let's say you're medium, and let's say you can take the second shift. So when we hit submit, then what we're going to see is we're going to say the name is Mark, 
the t-shirt size is medium, the shift available is second shift, right? So that's all we're doing. Again, this could be printed out to a, to a text file, to a CSV file, something like that. We go here, again, we could say Sue, just to show it's all dynamic. We could say small, and we could say first shift. And then you hit submit, and then this is what it looks like. It is important to understand, again, I'm being very simple with this. Uh, Oh, this particular script. So there is things like formatting you may have to think about. So like if I select both first and second shift and hit submit, you'll see this here looks a little bit ugly. But again, this this is the difference between having code that functions versus code that looks good. Again, right now, we're just going to try to keep it simple for you. So with that, let's go over and let's take a look at the form itself. So I've called this form.php. Technically, you can make it HTML or HTM. I just figure if you're going to be using PHP scripts, just keep everything as PHP. It makes it a little bit easier to understand. Uh, so this is just simply called form.php, and this is the entire form for you. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up with the form tag. So you open with a form tag and you close with a form tag that says it's a form. Then the next thing we're going to do is say, what what is the action? So, okay, we're taking this data, but what are we doing with this data? And what we do is we're going to set the action to equal double quotation. And then all we do here is we put uh, what script we're going to be sending this data to. So we're going to be sending this data to the form script.php. And of course, close with double quotation mark. Then we're going to use a uh, method. So method at this point, just use post. Uh, there are other methods, but making life easier for you. Uh, we just simply set it to equal, double quotation, post. And so for this, just kind of leave this as it is. So this right here, the name of the script you're sending it to, you can change that for right now. Just leave this as it is. Uh, then we just, we simply close that. So that's the opening of the form tag. Then from there, we just actually, we just write out the, the, the form in HTML. So the first thing that we're going to say is your name. So again, remember, you can put in HTML formatting here. So you can make this H1, you can make this strong, you can make this italic, you can make this blue, green, whatever else. Again, I'm just putting a very simple, simple thing here. So what we're going to say is your name. So no, no additional formatting. We're just simply going to say your name. And then we are going to put a text input box. So this is a for an input box that's just a text. So when we go here, this is going to create this particular box that we're looking at. And so we say input. Uh, then we do type equals. And so it's a text box. So it's just simply double quotation marks and then text. So that tells HTML this is a text box. And then we are going to give it a name. So the name is how we are going to reference this variable when this gets sent over to the PHP script. And so all we're going to do here is going to do name equals name. So this could be anything. So this could be t-shirt size. This could be address. This could be email address. This could be, this could be named anything. Basically, the important thing to understand is this is what we're going to be referencing uh, when we actually try to pull the information, pull the value in order to turn this into a variable. Then we uh, double quotation marks, do the, uh, the forward slash in order to close the input and the, uh, the finish. The, the thing. So basically this right here, this gives us a text box and it creates the name of the text box as name. Okay, we're going to put a break in. This is simply going to break line, put the next thing on the new line. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to put an option box or selection box. This is where you go and you're able to select multiple different options here. Uh, so with that, all we're going to do is to uh, create this the select box uh, as we open with select. Then we have again we have to give it a name so we know what to reference when we're trying to grab the value and so for this we're going to just do sizes so sizes close that and then here we have all the option values so you can have you can have a hundred option values or two option values you can have any as many option values as you want essentially in order to create an option value you just write this code and then go as many times. So you do option value and then equals. And then the important thing here is with value. So value is what is actually going to be sent uh, to the PHP script. So small, as it looks here, small, all, lowercase. This is what the value that is going to be sent to the PHP script will look like. Uh, then what we do is we close and then small, uh, uppercase S and then M-A-A-L-L, -A -L, that is what people will be able to see in the selection box here. 
So that's a very important thing to understand, is this is what people will see in the form. This is the actual data that will be sent from the form. Uh, so here, so you could say small, but then let's say if you have something internal, this may be a UPC code, or this may be some kind of other reference number that you put in there uh, that works with your thing. Uh, then in order to, to finish off this option line, we simply close out with option. And so this is how you create each option. So we do small, we do medium, we do large, and then we close the select box. Then from that, we do a break, so that it could be on the next line. Then what we go down is we're going to do two checkboxes. So checkboxes are either true or false. If they are true, the, the value will be sent. If they're false, the value will not be sent. Uh, so with this, so we do input type. And so this type is a checkbox. Then we're going to do name. So again, how we're actually going to reference the value that's being sent. And so what we're going to just do here is we're just simply going to say shift one. Right. Uh, then the value for shift one, we are going to say as first shift. So again, this is this this first shift right here. This is actually going to be sent as the value, uh, and then we print out first shift. Then we do a break. Then we do input type checkbox again. For this, we will do shift two, the value second shift. And then we're just simply going to do second shift. And so if we take a look here, that's where you see these checkboxes. So first shift and second shift. Then if we go back, we're just simply going to do a break. And then we're going to do the submit button. So input, again, input type. And for this, we simply make it equal submit. So this is what actually creates that little submit button down there. Actually allows this thing to function. And then we're going to close that out. And then we close the form. So that's how we create this particular form. Then we hit submit. Again, all of this data is sent to the form script.php. So let's go take a look at that. So if we open up form script.php, actually form script.php is easy, is easier to read, is easier to look at than the, uh, the, the form itself. So with this, all we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking the values that are being sent through post we are going to be taking those values and we'll be setting variables to the values that have been given to us. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a value, a variable for name, a variable for sizes, a variable for shift one, and a variable for shift two. We are going to make them equal to, and this is where we do dollar sign underscore post, all uppercase, bracket, and then we're going to do a single quotation mark. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the names, right? So if we go back and we look at form, see how we had name is name, name is sizes, name is shift one, name is shift two. So that's how we'll be accessing the value of those variables. And so what we're going to do is from dollar sign underscore post bracket, we are going to take name and we are going to set the value of the name that's being posted to this script, and we are going to make that the value of dollar sign name. The same for sizes, the same for shift one, the same for shift two. So that's all you have to do there. Then past that, we're just doing the same crappy old print that we've been doing a thousand times already, right? So we're gonna say print, then we're gonna do double quotation marks, and then just name, name, colon, so that's nothing specific, and then the value for the variable name, of course semicolon then we're going to print a break like we normally do then we're going to print t-shirt size and then the value of the variable sizes print a break and then we're just all going to put this on one line there's no additional breaks we're going to print shifts available colon and then what we'll do is we'll print the value of shift one and then we'll print the value of shift two and basically all that data comes from the form gets processed by the script and that's where you get the output here so again, Fred, first shift. So name is Fred, t-shirt size is large, and he's willing to take the first shift. If t-shirt size, you know, Sue isn't willing to take anything, and there you go. Uh, an important thing to understand, uh, you'll notice this here, you'll notice this autofill. To be clear, again, when we talk about using a web application, there's multiple technologies being involved. This has nothing to do with me. <laughs> To be clear, this is not PHP, this is not CSS, this is not HTML. <coughs> this, um, this little autofill feature, this is actually part of Chrome itself. 
so don't think I coded anything to make this work. So yeah, we can put in Tom, again, put in small, and I can take both shifts, and there we go. And that's really all there is uh, to this particular demonstration using both the HTML form and then using the PHP script in order to process it. So that's what there is, uh, using an HTML form to be able to send the data to a PHP script. Um, and again, as with most of the stuff with any kind of coding, it's relatively simple. Where the complicated thing uh, comes into play is the difference between what the viewer or the user sees versus what data you're actually sending back and forth. So again, it's very important to understand, let's say with a drop-down box, where the user sees small, large, extra large, whatever else. But you have to ask yourself, is that really the data you want to send to the script, let's say to a database or something else? Do you want to send a small, medium, extra large? Or again, do you want to send something like a UPC code, 01166550, right? Because when I, as a user, am saying small, medium, large, I'm just thinking about the size. For you, if you're actually having to order a product... Uh, by putting the UPC code or the ISBN or whatever kind of code in there, uh, that may make it easier so that when somebody selects that, that can then do something such as auto fire and order uh, from a vendor that you're using. And so this is where you really have to start thinking about the difference between what the user is seeing and then what you need the code to actually accomplish. And as always, that is the thing that is much, much more complicated. Again, too, this is where you start seeing how user interface design is very important. I showed you a very ugly form with a very ugly report. This is where you start having to ask yourself, what should the sizes of these different fonts be? You know, how should they be separated out? Should you be putting things on the same lines or different lines? Uh, and that's honestly, that's where coding gets complicated. People think that coding is complicated because of the script that I show you. But as you've seen with this PHP series, each individual type of script that I'm showing you is actually relatively easy. Once you do it 10 times, you'll memorize it, no big deal. The, the language itself is not what's complicated. It's taking that language and then turning it into something that's actually useful and productive and profitable for an organization. That's where, that's where things get complicated. Uh, so that's really all there is uh, to using an HTML form to send data to a PHP script. As with all these things, there is much more to learn about it. So you can learn about different types of methods for sending the data. You can look at different the different um, the types of data, again, whether it's text or select boxes or check boxes. There are different options there. You might want to take a look at radio boxes, that type of thing. So there is more to look into with this, but the basic idea is you create an HTML form, you set the name of the, uh, the, the different fields within that form, and then you simply are able to access the value uh, from the form using the name, using the PHP script. If you understand that, the rest of it is just basically going through and just adding little things here and there. So with that, that's why HTML forms is sending data to PHP scripts is important and why you should know how they work.